Hey guys, I'm Rita and in this episode I will show you how you can add a service item on Xero. To add a service item, you need to go to business section and subsection called products and services. To add a new service item, we need to click on new items button, which is on top right corner. Here we will be presented with item card. So either we purchase service or we providing services like subscriptions to our customers, it's the same item card. Difference will be if we purchase service, we will need to fill in this bit and deselect sell. But if we sell service, then we would fill in this part and deselect purchases. But if we purchase and sell the same service, we need to fill in both sections. Okay, so let's start from top. Service, what will I will add information about, will be delivery charges. Okay, I will call delivery and delivery here as well. Because it's service item, I don't track inventory. And in my case, I'm just incurring delivery charges. So I can add to invoice when I'm recording supplier invoices. So purchase price let's say i have um, 199 purchase account you can search so i will search by couriers postage freight okay and select tax rate it's uh, the one which is appropriate from this drop down list description you can amend if you wish and then we can save this um, service item if we need to edit this service item, click on name. It will open this card and we can edit item by clicking on edit item button at the top. Here, for example, not only we purchase, but also we charge our customers, then tick on sell box and fill in details. So for example, I am charging customers 199 for delivery as well. And I will add that one to revenue code i will call other revenue okay and description i will call delivery as a selling part okay and click save okay so to go back to products and services you can click on product services uh, link there and you will be brought back to particular product uh, service and product list so this is a way how you can add a service item and manage it on xero accounting software if you have any questions or require any further advice feel free to reach out to me